Okay. That's off. Mm -hmm. And I think they're, it's weird because I think they're head bolts and these nuts. So I think it holds it together. Mm -hmm. So that's an, all, that's an assembly. That's right there. And then here's the push hearts. Yeah. You want to feel how they're kind of set in there. Which one's bent? Yeah, look how bent that one is. Very bent. <laughs> That's a very bent push rod. So let's put this one back. Alright, now we are push rods are in and now we are putting the top liddy thing back on. Now we gotta adjust everything. Okay, push rods in, torque down, adjusted. The valves have been adjusted. Now we just need a good washer to put here so that we can tighten that down, torque that down, and all the hoses. Let's fill this up. Well, uh, we'll probably move this out when we. Yeah, we got to move it out for exhaust fumes. <coughs> all right, check this out. We got, we almost got all this hooked up. We just have a few more lines, some fuel lines, but fuel lines, it's huh? pretty much. We're just testing the starter. The starter did work. Now we just kind of want to see if it's pumping water. All right, we got everything hooked up. What we need to do is prime there. We got everything in the battery. Well, we tried to start it and tried to burp it or bleed it, but it didn't work. One of the lines was needing to be replaced. So we made some big strides in the Pacific Seacraft yesterday. Let's get her open and check it out. So all the patterns are starting to be made. Looks freaking awesome! The seats are starting to get patterned out. Ava's bed. Countertop's going in. Part of the... We're not going to actually install the countertop, but we're going to look at... No, this is just so we can lay everything out. Yeah, so we can look at how we're going to do Ava's bed. Wow, I like the color. It's going to look good with all the dark. The thing is, I don't like how far off it is off the back, but we'll just have to put it... We'll a put place. a cleat and... Actually, these actually come way out here, too. It actually so... needs to come off the back, so that way we can do the chain plates right there. By quite a bit, like maybe right about there, I think, is about okay. where the water line is. Okay. And, oh, uh, close. Yeah. It's gonna and it's going to have the hose place. that comes down, too. Yeah. Well, that's all right as long as this is above the water line. Right. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think that countertop used to go to the bottom of those cleats. Right. It used to be that much higher. Yeah, but I wanted to get to the chain plate, so I made it lower. It's off a little, but we can make it work. Well, it's it, you got to put the wood up, trim around. Yeah, all that I can make this fit it, but with the trim around it, let's open see. it back up again. Yeah, that's pretty close. It's gonna work. Which we might have to adjust it slightly. Boom. Wow. Now we're gonna do Ava's bed. What do you think of that? Amazing. It's with raining a, right with now. With a cap rail on it. All along the edge, and then Ava's bed comes to right here, so then you can put like a round circle cap. Wow. Yeah, if we want to. Some door and a door. We can also put like a table up here if we wanted. That flips up or a cutting board or whatever. And the seats. If we want to, we can always cut this down a little, but I think it's kind of. It's kind of cool. You can freaking throw some stuff in there and. Store it. it ain't gonna go nowhere. No, that's for sure. The cup might even stay there, actually, on the top. The only thing about it is, like I say, the dr the the stove. stove. Well, I think what we might do. Oh, we could have a little thing. I could make a little block in here and put a post in it that holds the the stove up. Stove that comes out and around. Look at that. There's Ava's bed. This is going to be a roundy corner, promise, because then this will have the rounded edge. And this is good, this could have something over here. Yeah, but it should fit better than that. <laughs> yeah. <Jesus. laughs> Alright, just making the face frames for the seats. And then we are ready to start tabbing in everything. Okay, 
There's the seats all framed in. Now we just gotta glue some stuff in and varnish some things. Once we glass some things in, um, we can foam. So, there we go. <laughs> You know, for the last couple months, I've been coming into work and I've been, you know, in a bad mood, you know, and and I I really was wondering why work made me so grumpy. Like every time I'd come in, I'd be like super grumpy. Well, I think I finally figured out why. I'm done with fiberglassing. <laughs> I'm done with polyester resin. We have completed all of the tasks that needed polyester fiberglass resin. I'm so happy about it. And now we're doing fun stuff like woodwork, which is exactly what we like to do. Oh man, I'm s I, I actually have figured it out. That's what has been making me so frustrated every time I have to come to work. It's because of the polyester resin. That stuff's so gross. And Pete too, you know, grinding it. He's been the grinder, poor thing. Um, we are now finished with all the grinding and all the polyestering. Now we're just doing nice easy epoxy. So a lot of our stuff is wood now. So we're switching over to epoxy and glassing with epoxy, which is ten times nicer of a substance to use. Less stinky, everything. Okay, all of the fillets are now in. 